Animated films like Bambi, Frozen, and Up often allude to a character death that takes place off-screen. Other children's movies took things a step further by actually showing a death on the screen. Some of these horrific scenes would be hard to handle in live-action films, never mind animated hits. Watch and see various tragic deaths, murders, and hangings all in animated form. When it's an accident, they call it manslaughter. Before you watch, grab a tissue and then click subscribe. You'll join the notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Also, can you guess which movie is represented by these emoji? Stay tuned at the end to find out. You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. Now I'm the bad guy. Tangled. Let's face it, Mother Gothel had it coming. She kidnapped Rapunzel as a baby, forced her to live a majority of her life in a tower, and stole the magic in her hair so she could live eternally. There was really no other option for the evil witch except death. Although her demise was expected, no one knew it could be as gruesome as it was. As Flynn sits in pain with a mortal wound, he chops all of Rapunzel's magical hair off. This also meant that Mother Gothel lost all the magic she used to stay young. Right before our very eyes, we saw her wither away to skin and bone. But even that wasn't enough. As she runs around and her body literally dies by the second, the mischievous chameleon Pascal puts up a chunk of hair to trip Mother Gothel and send her flying out the tower window. This would have been a great time to cut away, but we see her continue to deteriorate as she falls. A cut to the wide shot shows just how far she's falling down to her grassy grave. By the time she reaches the bottom, her old body is nothing but rags and dust. Yikes. Creating a rare form of monster known as Domus Mectipolis. Monster House. From the trailers and preview clips, the movie Monster House looked like a fun animated adventure about a crazy house that came alive. Once people saw the film and learned about the house's backstory, they realized the movie is a lot deeper than they realized. In Monster House, the backstory involves a lady named Constance who's heavily overweight and made into the laughingstock of a touring circus. Then she meets Nebercracker, the two fall in love and start to build their dream home together. Just when you think Constance will be happy, her gruesome death scene takes place. Standing above the open basement foundation of the construction site, Constant loses her balance and falls far down into the hole. As she fell, her arm pulled on a lever, releasing gallons of wet cement that poured over her dead body as soon as it landed. The scene is pretty crazy to watch, but it only gets worse when the children exploring the house see her buried corpse in the form of cement and then later see the skeleton that has been trapped underneath it for all these years. The monster house may seem mean and evil, but viewers look at it with a whole different perspective once they learn the sad truth about what made it haunted. Hola! Did you hear about the latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem, come on over. This is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Check out the richest Espanol today! Needless to say, we're all shocked and saddened by the news of a Dacian troll. Green Lantern, Emerald Knights. Green Lantern may not have found success on the big screen, but that hasn't stopped DC's animated universe from creating a number of animated hits featuring the character. In 2011, DC released the straight-to-video release of Green Lantern Emerald Knights. The film is an anthology of stories that captures the spirit of the Green Lantern universe through a variety of tales and characters. There's one character you shouldn't get too attached to, though, and her name is Arcadian Troll. Arcadian Troll. The Green Lantern character appears briefly in the film before she's killed in probably the worst way possible. My God. While flying, Troll is pursued by a collection of shadow demons. While she's able to fight them off at first, the battle becomes too overwhelming without any help. This is when the shadow demons strike. They slice off her legs, then her hands, and then decapitate her. The animation actually shows her lifeless head floating through space. Did we mention that this movie only has a PG rating? The scene looks like something out of Saw, and the pure agony she goes through is pretty tough to watch. Man like you! Tarzan. Tarzan never had it easy in the jungle. Once raised by gorillas, he was always being treated unfairly for being different. As Tarzan got older, he was forced to defend his family from predatory animals. If things weren't bad enough, Tarzan had to deal with Clayton and the massive gun he totes around. The war between Clayton and Tarzan became a serious one where only one person could survive. 
fighting among the trees, Clayton was clearly out of his league compared to the more experienced Tarzan. This was especially true when Clayton became tangled up in a collection of vines. Tarzan saw Clayton's impending doom and tried to help him, but it was too late. Clayton dropped to his death and hung by the vines in the middle of the jungle. With a few flashes of lightning, we can see Clayton's dead body dangling from the vines as a somber Tarzan catches his breath. An animated hanging is pretty tough to take and very revealing, even if it was just the shadows being shown. Mother, run, run. The Land Before Time there's so many different animated films where one or more of the parents have died or are missing from the picture. While that's sad enough as it is, it's nothing compared to seeing the actual parental death in animated form. This is what The Land Before Time did in one of the saddest animated scenes put to print. Early on in the movie, Littlefoot and his friend Sarah encounter the hungry carnivore nicknamed Sharptooth. Sharptooth nearly eats the little dinosaurs before Littlefoot's mother steps in to save the day. The battle obviously took its toll on Littlefoot's mother as she can no longer continue the journey to the Great Valley. As she slowly dies in the pouring rain, Littlefoot can't quite comprehend what's going on. His mother is still able to give Littlefoot plenty of words of wisdom as she lies there and takes her last breath. The movie brilliantly stays on the shot for longer than you'd expect, really taking in the emotional impact of death and losing a loved one. It doesn't make the sad scene any easier to watch. Littlefoot's journey continues in 10 plus sequels to the film where he carries on the spirit and drive his mother gave him during her last moments. Evangeline, like that too. The Princess and the Frog for Disney's 2009 film The Princess and the Frog, we're introduced to a whimsical cast of characters. One of these characters is Rey, a firefly with an old soul and dreams of meeting the love of his life who lives up in the stars. Rey is crucial to revealing the fake Naveen during a thrilling scene in the film where he tears off a magical necklace charm, gives it to Tiana, and unfortunately Rey's small size gets the best of him as Dr. Facilier knocks him down. That's not enough for the cruel man though, as he takes one step with his boot and crushes Rey underneath it in a truly devastating scene. Lewis manages to find Rey, barely clinging to life, and runs him to Tiana and Naveen as quick as he can. As Rey's light sputters in and out, he takes his last dying breaths and looks up at the stars one last time as he looks forward to reuniting with Evangeline. Who knew that a dead bug could make you feel so many emotions? To help ease the pain, Rey is shown in a spiritual form near the end of the film. I'm done for, Wilbur. In a while, I'll be dead. Charlotte's Web a spider's work is never finished, and that's truly the case for Charlotte in the classic animation Charlotte's Web. The story showcases the unlikely friendship between a pig named Wilbur and a spider willing to do anything to help keep the pig from being slaughtered. Charlotte spends endless nights weaving incredible webs that spell words including some pig and humble. Those webs help spare Wilbur's life and prevent him from becoming a plate of bacon or ham. By the time the collection of farm animals goes to the local carnival, Charlotte is pretty worn out and it's obvious what will happen next. After spinning a web of eggs, Charlotte says her goodbyes to Wilbur and quietly dies as she backs away. The final shot of her death scene shows a few strains of spiderweb blowing in the distance. Somehow, animators have made a spider feel sympathetic when many people have a fear of the eight-legged creatures. At least Charlotte's legacy lived on with the birth of 514 children. Out of all of them, three decided to stay on the farm where Wilbur lives. This created a bittersweet moment in a film that's pretty hard to have a happy ending with. That's right, your theme song. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. His rocket makes you yell hooray. Bing, bing bong, bing bong. Inside Out. The majority of the Pixar film Inside Out takes place inside the mind of an 11-year-old girl named Riley. It's there where we're introduced to all types of unique characters including anger, fear, joy, and sadness. As joy and sadness go on their adventure through the brain of a young girl, they also come across the character of Bing Bong. Bing Bong was a whimsical imaginary friend Riley made up when she was younger. As she's aged, the memory of Bing Bong isn't as strong as it used to be. Bing Bong ends up being stuck in Riley's memory dump with joy. The characters attempt to escape, but the weight is too much to get out of the pit. This is when Bing Bong decides to sacrifice himself by jumping out of the wagon. Bing Bong knows his fate now, and he slowly disappears from the screen, lost forever. This death scene may only represent an imaginary friend, but it can hit hard for a lot of viewers. This represents the loss of innocence, the end of childhood, and everything that goes away when you get older. We'll miss you, Bing Bong. Now, Pig Keeper, you shall die. The Black Cauldron when people talk about the best Disney villains, names like Jafar, Ursula, and Captain Hook may come up. Well, none of them compare to the purely evil Horned King from the Black Cauldron. The dark Disney fantasy features the Horned King as the main villain, and he's downright scary. Ah! 
With glowing red eyes, horns, and antlers, the evil character is enough to give children nightmares for days. Even his gruesome death scene in the Black Cauldron is scary. As the Horned King attempts to send a young boy into the Cauldron of Doom, he's the one who gets sent inside. This is when Disney really pushed their limits with death scenes. For the dramatic sequence, the skin is violently torn off the Horned King's body. He becomes engulfed in flames and blood spins around him as his corpse gets burned alive. The whole scene goes on for several seconds without any cutaways to minimize the craziness of the shot. The whole thing looked like the climactic scenes of Raiders of the Lost Ark when all of the Nazis burned to death. It's what the Horned King deserved in the end, but we're not quite sure if we needed to see it all. Dad? Mm. We're pals, right? <laughs> right. And we'll always be together, right? The Lion King. The Lion King is one of the most emotional films that Disney has ever put out. The drama, betrayal, and devastating scenes all stem from Mufasa's tragic death early in the film. After heroically saving Simba from a stampede, he tries to escape the carnage himself and climb up the edge of a cliff. This is when Scar reveals his true colors. He claws at Mufasa's paws and sends him to his death below. Simba watched on in horror as his father plummeted down. Even though it was a large fall into a stampede of animals, the film gave us a little hope he would survive after cutting back to his body shortly after. What makes the death scene even harder to watch is the fact that Simba nudges his dad, trying to awaken the dead lion. With no answer, Simba has nothing to do but tuck in underneath the arm of his dead dad for one last touch of comfort. Mufasa's lifeless corpse was on screen for way longer than anyone expected, making his death even harder to handle. Sadness quickly turns to anger as Scar approaches and pins the blame for Mufasa's death directly on Simba. Thankfully, Simba avenges his father's death and saves the pride by the end of the movie. And there you have it! What animated death do you think was the most graphic? Are there any we missed? What's the saddest animated death scene? Let us know in the comments section below! Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. And the answer to the emoji quiz is… 